Hello and welcome to Minor Players Medal of Honor Allied Assault. So now we need to divert the enemy. So before I talk about this mission a little bit, I'm still on 37 health. This is a very frustrating thing. I can never figure out exactly how you're supposed to get in the truck. Just, ah, there we are. So sometimes when you jump up like that, you don't get in. Oh, I said the same thing in the very first mission. Uh, you just, sometimes you jump up and you don't definitively get into the truck. Sometimes you slide along the little ledge and then, without realising, the guy that's here suddenly starts shooting you. So Manol and uh, these sort of silent missions, I think it's a little bit of a nod to the very first Medal of Honor game. I believe. I've not actually played it, but from what I remember seeing in you know, videos that I've watched, I think that's the case. So I think it was like a little bit of a, a good throwback to, to use it uh, to use her here. So this this mission and the next one are probably I I, I want to say they're probably some of the best missions. Hello. Best missions in the game. I feel like I feel like there's a, a lot of different little things to do. It, it is quite funny. Oh, jeez, hello. There you. Hello. It is quite funny that, well, first of all, this guy didn't hear, but also that you, you, they say don't use um, those loud weapons, they make too much noise, and then you immediately pick up an MP40, and you still have grenades. It's a bit like, really? Did, did you really think about this? Oh, this way. So you really have to make sure you, that you get all oh geez, um, that you get all these tanks before heading off. Because sometimes it's not 100%. You, you, you might not realise to get that one. It's, it's happened to me before. I've ran down here and got to the end of this these tracks, only to then realise I forgot to get the tank. So yeah, you have to always remember to do that. And then here, so this is what I found. This is one of the things I mentioned in one of the previous videos. If I put the screen like that, you can just about see in the top right, uh, beneath the binoculars and the explosives, a little head. But if I do that, it's really faint. You can just about see it there. And then you can double check by putting it down to the far corner. I don't think there's any there, but it's always best to try and get that guy as soon as you can. Because, oh, geez. yep, well, that's why I didn't realize there was going to be that second person there. I couldn't see him initially. So, yeah, the reason why is you don't want to get hit by MP40. MP40? Uh, no, MG42s. So, here, there is, well, I should have moved on a bit, but there's, there was a guy there. You see what I mean? Um, I mentioned it in the previous video where when they lie down, the main thing that you can hit is their head, but obviously there's less of them to hit. Right, this is going to be tricky. There's an MP MG42. There we are. It's difficult to shoot him straight away because he fires before his head is visible. So sometimes I find it's best to just let him shoot. Sometimes I find it best just to let them shoot you and then and then go back. Ooh. There we are. I thought it was just him. You can, if you want to, just skip this. You just run past and I think you can get by without being hit. Hmm. 
I seem to remember really really small little thing I seem to remember that when he shot one of these barrels it might be maybe in there um, that actually what happened was um, one of them remained I oh, know it was just a weird little thing that I just noticed so he didn't actually have to come up here but I honestly do not remember this being broken huh I really do not remember that being broken, actually. I thought it was, uh... Unless that's part of this mission, that it's broken and therefore that's why the train is coming in so they can repair it. But instead you... You make it go through the, uh, the other gates and out the other side. Uh, right, so this part. So that searchlight is going to be annoying. Now... Uh, I don't know if it is possible... It's... You can just about see the guy's head appear up every so often. Like, I think it just happened there. It is so faint, and I think if you ca sometimes if you can, uh, you can sometimes just about shoot him. But I'm gonna shoot that guy. Make sure it doesn't, doesn't get seen. There we are. Come on, I mean, he's not suspicious at all, like, that's not moving around any different. So, let's run down as quick as I can. Can I see him through here? Oh, not quite. Oh. Hopefully this light won't see me. Thank you. There he is. Perfect. Right. I don't know if you've noticed that when I tend to shoot. Oh yeah. I was so. I remember some of the first times I used to play this level. I would be so confused by this radio equipment because it was making noise, and I thought it was something that was that I had to deal with. Uh, yeah. So when I shoot with the MP40. I tend to press the mouse each time. Right. Oh, geez. Probably should get you first. Oh, crap. That wasn't... Hope. I don't know if anyone made it past. I don't think so. I didn't... I don't recall seeing anyone, but oh well, we'll find out later. Yeah, so when I when I um, shoot with the MP40, I usually tend to I usually tend to tap each time. It's best to try and get the dog before because you um, I think he comes after you later. Uh, yeah, when if you tap each time you. Uh, you shoot the MP40 or other machine gun. I think you have a little bit more control, like you don't get as much recoil. And I think you also... You're just, you're just generally more accurate, I suppose. And also I think it's a good way to preserve ammo. You're not just randomly firing all over the place. I usually shoot that guy there first because when you shoot this one, this guy disappears and he comes out that door. And it's a little bit tricky to get him. Well, there's, this, there's this guy anyway. And then around here, I think there's someone at the... Oh. There's someone there? Oh, yeah, so usually... Oh, yeah. So... So, yeah, go, 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 go. Ah, I didn't pre-warn you. So, yeah, a dog comes in. So when I do this, I usually come in here just in case there's someone in here. And then I'll... And then I'll come out and shoot the dog. But I think that dog got to me a bit quicker. So, someone there. Oh, 
reloaded at the wrong time. I'm an absolute bugger for when it comes to reloading. I end up... What was that? I end up reloading pretty much all the time. And the reason I do that is because if I can reload, then I... I might as well. I usually go at this side because then you have a better view overall over the whole thing. Yeah, you can generally... You know, you just never know... Oh, you never know what's going to happen. You never know if you are going to suddenly enter a fight and you just needed that one extra sniper ammo. don't think it really ever happens, but... Hello, Henry. Oh, yeah, that's a great way to alert people to your location. So, yeah, it's, I think that's a fun little mission. I really, I really like this one. Also, would it not be better if I could... No, I, I can crouch. I thought we couldn't crouch, but... Oh, yeah, so people come... Even if you crouch, you do actually get hit, I think. Oh. Yeah, there you are. I can't actually stand up now. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was okay. So, crash through the gate. That was close. Well, thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next part.